Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It's 617 on this Tuesday. Welcome back. All right. Well, a little nicer day today than maybe what we had yesterday. It was pretty blustery out there for many across the region. Yeah, it was blustery with showers and thunderstorms, mm -hmm. and those thunderstorms got ugly yeah. real fast once they, they blew up. The atmosphere was like a nice puddle of gasoline. Mm -hmm. uh, today, we don't have to worry about any showers and thunderstorms, just some gusty winds, which, you know, what else is new for North Dakota? Exactly. Gusty winds. Yeah, we're all used to that. Here's a live look outside of the Magic City this morning. Just a couple of cars out there, but it is nice and quiet, comfortable temperatures, even no fog to deal with, which is nice. 55 degrees. Those west winds at 16 are helping to keep everything fog free, which is nice. A nice dry dew point of 50 degrees in the Magic City. To the west in the Williston area, 52 is the temperature you are waking up to with a west wind at 8 miles an hour, but that will be on the increase. Temperatures right now across the state, mostly in the 50s. We'll zoom it in for a closer look at your neighborhood. You can see most places mid to upper 50s, even a few lower 60s creeping into the picture. Further to the north, those temperatures slightly cooler, lower to mid 50s. Those winds, as I said, will be on the increase. Right now, they're not too bad, mostly out of the northwest at between 10 and 15 miles an hour, but those gusts will be picking up as we go through the day, which I'll show you those gusts here in just a minute. Satellite and radar picture is nice and quiet this morning, which is pretty much what everybody wants to see. Just a couple of high clouds and here's precision cast. We do have a nice sunny day on tap for today and tomorrow, but I think late in the day on Wednesday through the early morning hours of Thursday. There's when our next chance for any shower activity will come. I think that'll be mostly across eastern sections. And then as we get into the later hours of Friday, maybe a couple of raindrops for high school football before more uh, steady rain arrives for Saturday morning. We talked about those winds. Here's a look at the wind forecast, those wind gusts. I think after 9 o'clock, that's when those gusts will really start to pick up. You can see 35 to 45 miles an hour. But the good news is I think they'll be short-lived. Once we get closer toward dinner time, those gusts should be receding and they should be out of the region by the time we get toward 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. Florida is certainly wishing that Hurricane Dorian would get out of their region. Again, this is a 24 hour loop and you can see it is not moving, continuing to batter Grand Bahama Island with wind gusts still to 155 miles an hour. But we think this trough here, this, this yellow streak of dry air is going to pick Dorian up and finally start to get it moving out of the area, scraping the East Coast. So not the best of scenarios for the East Coast. Lots of beach erosion and uh, uh, ocean overwash at times, but definitely not making landfall, I think, till it gets to the Carolina coast. Nothing like that here. A beautiful day, 77 with those gusty winds to 30 miles an hour. Again, between 9 and 3 or 4 o'clock, I think. 66 in the Magic City with some early clouds, but they'll thin out as we go through the day. Highs elsewhere today will mostly be in the mid to upper 70s across the south. A little bit cooler to the north. You'll see those temperatures there. 60 in both Botno and Rugby. And here's your five-day forecast for the Dickinson area. Sunny today, a stray storm tomorrow, and then back to comfortable temperatures. The weekend, though, I think that's when those steadier showers will get in here. You can see for Williston, pretty much the same thing. Look at that high on Wednesday, a nice toasty 86, but Saturday 59. But such is life here in North Dakota with those wild temperature swings. Here's your extended forecast for the Bismarck area. A couple of uh, showers maybe very late in the day on Wednesday. The weekend does look wet and cool, kind of a raw fall, fall day. And then Minot in the Magic City, pretty, pretty much the same thing and often on chance of showers this weekend. I don't know, maybe it's an unpopular opinion, but fall might be my favorite season. So <coughs> I don't mind getting into the cooler. Oh, it's a shame we only get a week of fall that, here. That's where I was going <laughs> to right. go comes. because I love fall too, but it's yeah. just so short. Yeah, you can savor the, savor the 60s yeah. while we have yep. them. Yep. We will. Uh, keep it with us on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead. Online shopping isn't just a fad, but there are some drawbacks to only see in those pictures. We'll tell you how a tech company is using augmented reality to bring shopping to life. And teaching an appreciation for the great outdoors might be just what the doctor ordered. That story coming up near the top of the hour. Stick around.